peace and blessings everybody crystal is sun here with be the vibe.com and i'm back um yeah it's been quite a while since i've uh picked up the series actually a little over a year uh the series was supposed to have been done fall of last year but life happened i had to take a tad take a step back um, but in the meantime, I've gotten a lot of people contacting me, asking me, like, where's the rest of the videos? You know, you stopped at Sagittarius, where's the rest of them, you know? So I took that as a sign that I need to get back and finish this series. So we are continuing, and this week we are discussing the career-focused Capricorn. Now, I will say I absolutely love Capricorns. Capricorns are my favorite of all the Zodiacs. No shade to anybody else, but I absolutely adore Capricorns. Um, and the reason why is because Capricorns, they are loyal, and Capricorns will help you build your empire. You know, if, if they got your back, they are great people to work with, great business partners, great relationship partners, and they will build some shit from the ground up. And it's amazing. It's such an amazing thing. Like, they are that dedicated go. And so I absolutely absolutely love Capricorns. Now, who's a Capricorn? If you were born between December 21st to January 20th, uh, you are a Capricorn. Capricorns are cardinal signs, meaning that they are the initiators. So, you know, each of the elements have a cardinal sign that basically initiates or kicks off the start of the season. So for Capricorns, you guys kick off uh, the winter time. And you guys are definitely true to the energy of, of a cardinal sign, which is initiating. Capricorns are earth element. Um, you are ruled by Saturn, which means that you are all about rules, organization, systems, limitation to some extent, um, building and structure. Now, what are you guys' positive traits? You have a lot of them. You know, first and foremost, you're stable. Um, you are extremely disciplined. <laughs> I actually don't really know very many of the, any other zodiacs that are, dis that are as disciplined as a Capricorn. Um, you guys are very hardworking, like strong, strong work ethic. Capricorns are determined. You guys are organizers. So you guys essentially are the builders. You're the builders of the zodiac. And like I said earlier, you guys are very skilled at taking nothing and building like great things from the ground up step by step. You guys are all about step, step, steps, you know, reaching, you know, climbing the mountain diligently, surely, slowly, dedicatedly <laughs> until you reach the tops. So that's definitely the Capricorn energy. Um, Capricorns are extremely humble. Um, I've never met an arrogant Capricorn um, unless you're on the side of uh, the Sagittarius uh, Capricorn cusp. <laughs> But for the most part, you know, those who are straight, you know, straight line Capricorns tend to be extremely humble, extremely loyal, great friends. Um, you guys are extremely energetically sensitive, which makes you very intuitive. Um, you're very sensitive to like the needs of, of people around you and just the, the overall energy of your environment. And really, perhaps my favorite trait of Capricorns is that you guys are extremely honest, extremely sincere. Um, you're very blunt, but unlike your other, the other Earth signs, you know, such as Virgo or, or Taurus, who tend to be kind of, you know, uh, crass in, in the bluntness, you guys are very tactful in your butt bluntness. So you're very honest and sincere, and you give it to you, to someone straight. But you, you, de your delivery is you're mindful of your delivery when you speak to people and when you speak your truth. Now, what are your challenges, um, Capricorns? First and foremost, you guys are serial workaholics you know it is out damn near impossible to pull you away from your work um, you know from your goals from your dreams I mean to the point where that's the common complaint um, that other people in your life have about you guys is that you know you guys will will, will put your work above everything else a lot of times to the detriment of your own self-care um, and your you know your own you know need to kind of slow down and kind of you know pay, be uh, attentive to yourself, but also at the expense of your relationships, you know, um, and a lot of times really for Capricorns, if you don't have, uh, you know, people around you who are just as, you know, serious about their work ethic, it's very difficult for you guys to uh, maintain your relationships with people. So the workaholic thing definitely is a challenge for you all. It's a lack of balance within that. You know, there's nothing wrong with having a strong work ethic because again, that's how you guys climb the mountain. That's how you guys build. However, you know, there's a certain level of balance that needs to come with that and a lot of Capricorns miss that element of, of your work ethic. 
um capricorns you guys can be boring you know that's that's my joke you know as much as i love you guys and you know my joke is that you guys are pretty much the most boring sign of the zodiac you know you guys are very stoic not not known for being emotional well really not known for being outwardly emotional so you know you guys definitely are deep feelers because all earth signs are but you guys tend to be just very kind of reserved in your emotions and not very comfortable with displaying your emotions um around other people in front of other people or really even to yourselves you guys could be extremely suspicious, um, particularly of others, but what, what it is really for Capricorns is that it's more so a mistrust of yourself um, because, you know, you guys are really good at reading people and you're, you have really strong intuition, but a lot of times you don't trust your own intuition, so you don't trust yourselves, um, so what that translates as is just a mistrust of others. Capricorns, you guys can be resentful, mainly just holding grudges, but a lot of that, what a lot of that is, is that you guys um, have a hard time communicating how you feel. Um, just a lot of insecurities around just, you know, expressing your own voice. And what that ends up happening, or what ends up happening is you guys will internalize your feelings and internalize your emotions and not allow yourself to speak up and release them. Um, and that internalization of your emotions causes a certain level of resentment. You guys are inhibited, you know, like I said, being ruled by Saturn. Um, you guys aren't really known for taking risks, um, <laughs> which, you know, goes back into that being kind of predictable and boring, you know, very much about the routine. Um, so, yeah, inhibited. You don't you don't really um, allow yourselves to express yourselves in other ways. You know, like I said just a moment ago, you know, the challenge is, is, is the verbal communication, but just all forms of, of expression you are, are challenging for, for Capricorn. So it leaves you a little bit of hit, a little bit inhibited and reserved um, you guys are extremely controlling and extremely stubborn um, especially for those of you who are in management or leadership positions and really what that has to do with is just you guys being so focused on this the goals that you want to achieve that um, you know it leaves you 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 could be very rigid um, in how that goal is to be achieved and your biggest challenge with that is that when you're working with other people um, there's not really a lot of compromise when it comes to working with groups or working with teams now when you're by yourselves yes of course you know being controlling and stubborn is no big deal but when it comes down to really um, working and connecting with other people a lot of times you guys have a hard time realizing that everybody doesn't work and move the way that you, that you guys work and move so what crystals do I recommend for Capricorns? Um, first and foremost, before I even get into my recommendations, I strongly, strongly recommend for my Capricorn clients to stay away from crystals that have earth element and water element. Earth element because you guys are already grounded and connected to the earth enough. Um, and again, you know, that's what causes you guys to be kind of fixed and rigid. Um, so you guys don't need any more of that basically you guys don't you're, you're good you're connected to the mountain your car was climbing the mountain you guys are good enough with that uh, water element crystals is because you guys are so sensitive energetically that it could kind of heighten that and, and put you in the position where you're you're feeling things you can't really manage um, the other thing too is that like I said earlier Capricorns you guys tend to be uh, uncomfortable with expressing your emotions or really displaying your emotions so if you're working with stuff like moon moonstone or rose quartz um, or you know other kind of emotional type of crystals it could be a bit much it could be a bit much for you guys so you know if you're just starting off with your, rec your your crystals and working with them those those two elements I definitely don't recommend now as far as what does work for you guys um, you know I really only there really isn't a whole lot that you guys need you know, um, because really, for the most part, Capricorns, you guys tend to be grounded and stable enough. Um, so I don't really have too many recommendations. I really only have about four crystals that I recommend. Uh, the first one being Onyx. Now, Onyx is that exception to the Earth element um, crystal rule that I just stated. Um, you know, Onyx is a form of Chalcedony. It's in the same family as Agate or Carnelian. It is Earth element. It is connected to your root chakra. It will ground you, you know, and, um, you know, keep you shielded did from outside energies but the most important thing um, as far as onyx why I recommend it for Capricorns is because onyx helps support the throat chakra so it's that crystal that will allow you to express your emotions and express yourselves in a way that you feel comfortable and confident in um, and you guys definitely definitely need that um, 
so you know with with capricorns onyx is pretty much probably about the main and only earth element crystal that i recommend um and like i said because it's connected to the root chakra um it's good for your bones your teeth it supports your feet um and and your blood flow you know it clears clears uh it cleanses the blood Pyrite is another crystal that I recommend for Capricorns. Now, pyrite is an iron ore. Uh, it is an earth and a fire element, and it's connected to the sun, so it leans more towards the fire side. And the reason why I recommend that for Capricorns, because like I said, you guys tend to be a little dull um, and, you know, not not too spicy sometimes. And so uh, pyrite will give you that push, that, that fiery um, uh, disposition that you guys tend to lack at times. Um, it shields your energy, you know, it's, it shields you from shields you from electromagnetic um, radiation. Um, it does ground you, um, but not not too much. Um, pyrite is definitely good for attracting money, and we all know Capricorns. You guys are about your money. You're about your business. So pyrite will definitely uh, bring that um, energy to you. Um, on a physical level, though, pyrite is good for your bones. It repairs your cells, and it supports your lungs. You know your your respiratory system. Now, another fire element crystal that I recommend for uh, Capricorns is carnelian. And um, I'm over here. These bees big ass bumblebees over here <laughs> um sorry about that sidetrack that's what happens when you're out filming out in the georgia woods and all these creatures come out to play um but yes so carnelian is another crystal fire crystal that i recommend and this one is connected specifically to your sacral so it supports you know the space of your creativity um so you know for the capricorns that have all these ideas and things that they want to get out and put into motion these things that the ideas that they want to build carnelian is great for that for you guys um it supports all manner of your reproductive health for both capricorn men and Capricorn women um, it gives you that fiery spice you know like I said that you guys you know need at times um, and also carnelian is another great crystal that shields and protects your energy uh, it allows you to kind of feel because you know the sacral is where we feel our emotions um, but in a, but but what the carnelian does is it supports that you know it doesn't overwhelm you with the emotions the same way like I said that rose quartz would or um, moonstone would and the last crystal that I recommend for you guys is clear quartz um, now clear quartz is funny I don't always recommend clear quartz as far as a zodiac crystal um, but what clear quartz does is you know it, it completely clears your aura clears your chakras it's the universal healer it's the universal light air and energy light bearing crystal but most importantly what clear quartz does for Capricorns is it allows you to really connect with and tap into your intuition in a way that's very clear um, it allows you to really open up your crown and your inner knowing and um, in a way that's not confusing for you guys you know in a way that doesn't cause you to get lost in in you know with all these things that you're feeling and picking up from your from your environment um, clear quartz also protects your energy now you notice the the pattern um, every crystal that I recommended for Capricorns has been the type of crystals that protect and shield your energy um, you know and, and 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 but specifically with clear quartz it's also an amplifier you know so any type of um, you know uh, projects or, or things that you need to get done, any type of motivation that you need, um, anything that causes you to go into momentum, Clear Quartz will amplify that energy to allow you to see those projects and those ideas through. And so that's pretty much it, you know, pretty much straightforward for you guys. Um, like I said, you guys, you know, don't need much in comparison to the other uh, other zodiacs. Um, so, you know, totally thoroughly enjoyed um, you guys' uh, uh, crystals for the zodiac for my Capricorns. Because again, you know, you guys are my favorite. Have a hot, special place in my heart for Capricorns. So I'm totally thrilled that I was able to do this broadcast for you guys. Um, and after this, we just got two more. We got Aquarius and we got Pisces. So. Um, you know, Aquarius will be next. And I'm actually excited about Aquarius because you guys are the rebels of the Zodiac. You guys are the revolutionaries. You guys are the 
rebels you guys are the unique you know eccentric different um uh you're made to be different so i'm actually really excited to uh, get some crystal recommendations for you guys um so that's it any questions contact me i'm totally reachable you can hit me up at be the vibe be the vibe .com. um the link will be the link to my website will it will be in the comments um below or the the summary of the broadcast um you can hit me up on facebook chrysalis sun you can hit me up on instagram chrysalis underscore sun I'm totally reachable totally approachable and again you know these crystal recommendations are generic um, they are specifically just for you know basic knowledge but I always encourage people to get your natal chart you know when you get your astrological chart your natal chart um, this will provide your blueprint and this allows you to get very detailed information about your makeup and then at that point you know um, once you know that information you can be able to identify which crystals that are more accurately connected to your specific individual needs um, I do not do natal chart readings however I do have recommendations for someone an astrologer that I recommend I go to myself and I recommend and send all my clients to so for that information reach out to me um any type of you want crystal consultations reach out to me i do do those um and if you have any specific questions as far as like crystal grids you know just different things like that um reach out to me again be the vibe.com chrysalis sun here and you guys have a wonderful blessed day peace